According to a report released on October 24 by state weapons conglomerate Rostec, the Russian Air Force has received a fresh batch of Su-35S heavyweight air dominance fighters from the Gagarin Aviation Plant in Komsomolsk on the Amur. Our aircraft manufacturers have reached a good pace of rolling out combat aircraft and timely delivery to the Russian Aerospace Forces said Vladimir Aryako, first deputy CEO of Rostec in reference to the delivery. This is not the final aircraft delivery of the year one of the fundamental fighters in the Russian Army's arsenal the Su-35S has earned its success. This highly nimble aircraft is capable of achieving a wide range of goals and utilizing any type of weaponry currently in development and in the future. In late September 2023, the Air Force received a prior batch the third sent in less than three months from the production facilities in the Far East. The September batch was delivered concurrently with a lesser batch of Su-57 next-generation fighters which are likewise being produced in Komsomolsk on the Amur. The previous batches arrived in the middle of July after being shipped in late June. The Su-35 is currently being constructed only for domestic use, despite the Russian Air Force and foreign customers sharing a large portion of its production run capacity. The American threat to use economic warfare against any state that purchases the aircraft is largely to blame for this. These threats compelled Indonesia and Egypt to renounce their earlier agreements to purchase the fighters, and they also made many other prospective customers rethink their purchases, leaving China and Iran as the only remaining customers. Even though Russian sources were initially hopeful that China would purchase the Su-35 on a large scale, the East Asian state's development of multiple far more capable fighters seriously reduced Russian markets after it. 